So what are some considerations that elementary school teachers need to take into consideration when they're engaging students in a collaborative classroom? Good, great question, Susan. I have found that it's important to set up your classroom from day one with the routines and the physical arrangement to allow the students just to jump right in and that they get used to it. I've always set up the room so that the kids are in small groups. If you have tables in your room, round tables are wonderful. I know a lot of times for kindergarten, that's a typical setup, um, which is fantastic. But then as you get older, making sure you put your desks together in a way that the students are able to talk with each other. I think as a teacher, we often are like, ah, the room is loud. Is it too much? That also comes from getting in the mindset that your classroom is going to be noisy. Not loud, but there's going to be noise, and that's a good thing. Positive. So in the desks, getting them used to, it's okay to talk, but there might be a time to be quiet. Maybe come up with a you know, little signal in the classroom of when it's quiet, when it's talking time. I used to have the um, stoplight, like green, yellow, red, and that they knew, okay, when it's red, it's quiet. If it's, you know, yellow, it's a quiet whisper. Green, you can talk. It's good, you know, and that helped give them a visual as well. Also having their supplies right within their desk. So if there's a question you want them to work on, maybe it's written on a piece of paper and it's in the middle to keep them on track as well. Um, give them lots of visual aids to keep the conversation going. I think one thing that that teachers often just kind of gloss over and it's really important to do, especially in the beginning, is to debrief after you've had your kids working in small groups. Even if it's just two minutes, oftentimes we're in such a hurry to go from one thing to another that we don't stop to think about how did this go and actually ask the kids, how did it go? What are some things that went well? What do we need to work on next time? And then just keeping notes of that. And then, then the next time, reminding the students of what went well and what we're really focusing on this time. It's really good to just make sure, I, I think one thing that can get a classroom off course the quickest is not holding kids accountable when they get off task or when they um, you know, are too loud or they're not doing what you'd like to see. So just making sure that you bring that up with them and let them know that this is what we want to work on for next time. and and. And then, again, reiterating that the next time and really holding them accountable and following through. It really only takes like 30 seconds, but it's 30 seconds well spent. 